Hello YouTube. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the very basics of modeling. Um, I think uh, the modeling tutorial, the very first chapter of the modeling tutorial, is going to talk about the basics of the settings you can change before you start your modeling. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the tools that um, Ansoft Maxwell is provides providing for you uh, for modeling, and uh, also. Uh, as I said, some settings that you can change, and after that, I'm going to go through using those uh, features and tools, um, basically in uh, using an example of a PCB design. I'm gonna I'm gonna basically use uh, a very simple model uh, of wire bound and SM SMA connectors and uh, traces and all these things to uh, walk through the features and the properties of uh, objects in Ansoft Maxwell. So let's start the first phase of the uh, tutorial on modeling. I'm gonna, right now I have an Ansoft uh, Maxwell open in front of me and uh, that's what you will uh, pretty much uh, find it when you just open the Ma Ansoft Maxwell. Um, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert a Maxwell 3D design. After clicking the 3D design, uh, you can see that the uh, canvas of the page will change. Uh, the 3D model of view uh, have this uh, known view. I'm going to open up a bit uh, the tree of hierarchy of objects that I have here. We have here property uh, windows and here we have the project manager window section uh, so the first thing that you want to do about the modeling is to I think uh, this is the first thing I, I'm not sure if it's the first for you but one thing you want to do is whatever you are modeling you want to know which scale you are modeling in so let's if you just draw some you know rectangle or whatever here uh, you have to notice that here we are looking in a millimeter scale if you are in the micrometer scale, for example, you are modeling some inter, you know, IC uh, scale feature, like I don't know, like an integrated and monolithic inductor in your IC, uh, you, you have to change this millimeter scale to the micrometer. On the other hand, if you're using some centimeter scale features, like you know, a trans transformer or like a huger or bigger. Uh, PCB external inductors you want to go to the centimeters or sometimes for the transformers you want to go to the meter scale so to do that you go ahead and select on the modeler and then you go ahead and select units when you click on the units the the property dial uh, box will uh, open and you here you can basically change uh, the units that you have note that here if you do it at the very beginning, uh, you wouldn't need to worry about the rescale to the near units. So basically, you just choose your unit, whatever the unit you want to look. You know, if you're like imperial units or you like um, the SI unit, uh, you just go ahead and, and select your unit. I'm, I'm actually okay with the millimeter, so I'm not going to change that. And but if you have some objects already in your uh, canvas you were working and then you just realize oh the, the unit is millimeters or you had another project so you open it up and you just want to rescale it to another um, uh, basically scale uh, you go ahead and select the rescale to the un new unit so what happens is when you uh, check this box uh, if for example you have uh, a box that is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters when you select this checkbox and then press OK, uh, and basically you say, I'm going to change the millimeters to centimeters, and you press OK, what will happen is your design, your structure, whatever that had like 10 millimeter dimension becomes 10 centimeters. So basically 10 millimeter length will translate into 10 centimeter if you check this. If you uncheck that, what will happen is the 10 millimeter um, length or dimension will be translated into one centimeter so when I uncheck that and I go ahead and select centimeter um, 
and if I had for example here some uh, dimension like I don't know like two millimeter trace then when I say centimeter and don't I do not risk on uh, check this one it becomes 0.2 centimeters so everything will be actually a scale to the, to the to the unit so basically you will just change the unit that will happen but when you click the scale it will also scale it to the unit that you want that's very important to know and that's very important to begin with uh, I hope that uh, you always check your unit before you start doing the modeling. Uh, I'm going to go uh, millimeters and press OK. Okay. Next thing that I'm, uh, I wanted to talk about is uh, some settings that you can find in the modeler options. Uh, so if you want to change anything about your modeler before you start modeling, you will go ahead into tools and then you go ahead into the sub menu of options and then you will go on uh, modeler options. As you can see there is three dots in front of the modeler options which indicates that this option will expand into much more um, options. So you click on that and you will um, excuse me um, options and then modeler options. I, should, I think I, report, uh, I click on the report to the options. So when you go ahead and click on that you will see uh, a window with the three tabs. The first one is the operation of the modeler, how your modeler is going to operate. Uh, the first section of this tab is, is, is clone and that means that if you are going to do any sort of the manipulation of your, uh, of your model, let's say you're going to unite two objects into each other, you want to subtract two objects into each other, uh, intersecting or you know um, imprinting or all these things uh, what will happen is if you check these boxes relative boxes uh, the modeler will copy once the objects that you are going to for example unite so let's say you are uniting object A and B uh, if you don't check this box it will delete uh, the actual object A and B um, like a figure of a speech basically and then it will just create one united object that has A and B at the same time. But if you click on that, it will make a clone copy of object A and object B. So you can have that later on if you want to change it, if you want to add it for another thing, if you're using it as a master, uh, you can have that object A and B. And then you also have your united object. So uh, that clone object can be very handy if you're working in a complicated uh, and, a, and a complex basically structure. So that uh, would be uh, for that. Uh, you have the coordinate system. You want to check this uh, automatically switches the, the face uh, coordinate systems off because uh, when you select the automatically switch the face coordinate system, it means that when you're creating a new object and a new primitive as soon as you are start creating it, most of the time you have a face, right? Uh, so the face that you are creating becomes automatically, the center of the face becomes your coordinate system. And then when you are typing whatever dimensions, it will be relative to the dimension or uh, to the of, the, of that face. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest you to click on that unless if you are used to that in other um, 3D model softwares like an AutoCAD or uh, SolidWorks. Used to that, you can click on, on that. Um, my choice is is the default choice, which is not selected. Uh, I don't want to go through all the other stuff here. There are like uh, you can have the cover close polyline, and uh, you have the model edit, uh, history three. Uh, these are kind of obvious things. You can see here that, for example, these are the history trees on the object select and uh, it basically expand the history tree of any object that you select and you can also say how you want to uh, basically arrange uh, all the features that I've put um, into an object all the manipulations that I've done on an object and how to present that. If you are familiar with the SOLIDWORKS you probably know what I'm talking about here. If not you will see later on when you're starting to, the, to start the modeling. Uh, we have here uh, the uh, 
uh, delete in uh, invalid objects created during the split operation. Uh, make sure that this uh, fellow here is checked. I will let uh, I will let you know uh, further on why I'm saying that uh, it should be checked. 